So what is the difference between mortgage insurance and individual life insurance? That's a great question. So mortgage insurance is one uh, that an individual would have when they purchase a, a home, they go out and get a mortgage and the lender typically would want to insure that loan in the event that you were to pass away, there'd be a benefit that pays out to pay off the loan. One of the challenges that I have with group insurance or lender insurance is that there are a lot of nuances that the consumer doesn't understand. So the first one is the underwriting. So that's all the medical underwriting and they're checking out you know, your health history. Well, medical underwriting for group insurance vis-a-vis -a, -vis a lender is done at time of claim or actually after you've passed away. Now they're checking into your medical records to make sure that you weren't lying about anything and that you're still insurable. Another challenge that I have with group insurance is that the beneficiary of group insurance is typically the lender. So what, what I mean by that is you take out group insurance on that loan, uh, you've passed away, and the money all goes to the lender versus maybe your spouse. Uh, rates typically would, would uh, stay the same, meaning you take out this mortgage insurance when you're 30, and when you're, when you're 35, the rates are still the same, but as you're paying down your mortgage, the benefit is being reduced. So again, another benefit uh, that may, many Canadians may not be aware of. And then finally, if you're diagnosed with maybe a critical illness of some sort, and you're upset with your current lender and you wanna to move to another institution, be aware because you may not be able to transfer that mortgage insurance now due to a decline in your health. So individual insurance, well, what does that look like? That is, is a standalone product that you, you, you get on your own and it was individual coverage is what we call that. That underwriting is done at time of application. So when you apply to get the coverage is when we do all the medical underwriting. So if your health is really good or maybe not so good, you'll know ahead of time if your beneficiaries are going to receive that benefit. Typically, we recommend that the beneficiary is your spouse. So imagine you were to pass away and the lender in the other example receives all that money. In this case, your spouse would receive all the, all the money. So the insurance claim is paid out to your spouse. He or she at that point can determine what they want to do with that money, whether it's to, to provide them an income stream or to pay off the debts or maybe some combination thereof. So it really provides you with more flexible options. Finally, the rates stay the same and so does the benefit. So if you take out a $500,000 mortgage, a $500,000 insurance policy, 500,000 is gonna pay out 10 or 15 years from now after you've passed away. And last but not least, I like that if, if you're not happy with your current lender, um, you can transfer your mortgage to any lender and that insurance stays with you. So is individual insurance better than mortgage insurance? I would say yes, but ultimately it's up to you. Thank you. For more information, I invite you to check us out on LinkedIn. Send us your questions, because every question is a great question.